Hi everyone, it's Jacob Bestwick and Katie James here uh, to give you a little quota update uh, for the North East RFG. Um, so we'll be going through some of the stocks and the slides that we normally go through, showing you the graphs that we normally do. But first, just a quick important note is that we have added some uh, of the provisional ICs advice for the percentage changes for 2025 into the slides. Uh, that information will be in a yellow box on each slide. Uh, but just to say that quotas are decided during negotiations later this year um, and they will be published in a provisional Secretary of State determination, which is usually published in late December. So these percentage changes are not necessarily uh, what the changes will be. These are just the recommended scientific changes. So to go into our first stock, uh, as you can see under the title at the top, this is North Sea Anglerfish. Um, we've got two graphs. Uh, the one on the left-hand side is what we call our master yearly uptake. This has three different bars on it, a blue bar, an orange bar, and a grey bar. The blue one shows what we received in our initial allocation at the start of the year. The orange bar shows what the current allocation is. So that might be where myself or Katie have done some trading um, to either bring in some more of that stock or trade it out and we'll get in some more of a different stock. And then the gray bar is our current uptake. On the right hand side, we have a monthly uptake by year. So this has the different years across the bottom. And then for each graph, there's the multicolor bar, which are like the building blocks. And that shows you a monthly breakdown of when that stock is caught. So for this particular stock, North Sea Anglerfish, in the under 10s, we received an initial allocation of 35. We traded a little bit of that out. We've now got 32 tons left. Uh, and the cat summit for that is currently one ton and uptake 5.7. For the over 10s, we uh, we've currently got 7.7. .7. The cat summit is 0 0.6 and uptake just under two tons. The advice change for this stock for next year is a 163% increase. Uh, next, we have North Sea Mackerel. So in the under 10s, we received an initial allocation of 11 tonnes. Myself and Katie have worked quite hard to trade some of this stock in, and we've now got 80 tonnes in allocation uh, for the under 10s. For the over 10s, we, current, over 10s, we currently have three and a half. Uh, the cap summit for the unders is 10 tonnes. The cap summit for the overs is one and a half. And current uptake in the unders is 22 and in the overs is just over 300 kilos. Uh, this is a stock that we saw a bit of an increase in uptake in last year and uh, have seen the same this year. So on the right hand graph, you can see that this is a stock that we kind of see May, July and August. Last year, we seem to see it a little bit earlier with more of the uptake coming in May, uh, whereas this year it seems to have shifted a little bit later. Uh, we don't have the advice for this one yet. That is due in September, October, along with the skates and raise stocks. Uh, and I think some of the other pelagics. Uh, so our next stock is North Sea Nethrops. So here we received an initial allocation of about 490 tonnes. We traded it in quite a lot of that. That's now up to 920 tonnes in the under 10s and in the over 10s we've currently got 120. Uh, cat summits for both of these uh, pools are managed quarterly so it's a 50 ton quarterly limit for the under 10s and a 30 ton quarterly limit for the over 10s. Uptake is currently 284 in the unders and just under 11 tons in the over 10s. Uh, this one again advises due September, October. And the graph on the right hand side, you can see that we kind of see it a bit seasonally. So, so not generally seeing a lot of uptake in the kind of April, May uh, period, but then we get a little bit of a second fishery. The next stock we have here is North Sea Soul. So this one, uh, 
This year we received an initial allocation of 211. We traded out just a few tons, so it's currently 208 for the unders. The over 10s, we have an allocation of 62. Cat summit is currently 5 tons for the under 10s and 6 tons for the over 10s. Uh, uptake is sat at 25 tons for the unders and just over 1 ton for the over 10s. The advice for next year is for a 177% increase in the in that stock. Uh, again, with the graph on the right hand side, you can see that we often get the uptake for this a bit later in the year. So that uh, kind of brown patch is August and then we, you've got the dark green and light blue, which is going through uh, September and October. So we are aware that there might still be a bit of uptake to come on that. Uh, but we've got more than enough in the fleet to cover uh, to cover what we usually fish there. Now moving on to North Sea Whiting. Uh, for this stock this year, there was a bit of an increase in our allocation. So we initially received 360. That is what our current allocation still is uh, in the unders. And the cat summit is currently four and uptake at 11 tonnes. For the over 10s, we received 450 this year. Uh, catch limit is currently one and a half, and we fished um, just over 250 kilos. The advice change for this one is for a 148% increase for next year. Uh, the next that we have here is skates and rays. So with this stock, we have traded in a little bit of this. Uh, we initially received around 175 and we're now up to about 250 in the under tents. Uh, the catch limit is currently four tons and we've fished about 40. For the over tens, the catch limit is currently three. Uh, we received 36 and a half tons in allocation and have fished so far three tons. The advice for this one, as I said earlier, is to September, October. Uh, and looking at the graph on the right hand side, we can see that kind of generally uh, most of our uptake is at, in that early part of the year, uh, January, February, March, April, May time, uh, with quite limited uptake after that. And the next stock here we have is North Sea Cod. Uh, so this year we received a initial allocation in the under tens of 175 tons. The cat sum is currently four tons and uptake is sat at just under 16 tons. In the over tens, we received 141 tons. Um, the cat sum is currently three and uptake is just under 40 tons this year which is a bit of an increase from previous years. Uh, but as you can see, there's quite a lot in allocation there that we can use. And we are able to move quota between the two pools. So we can use some of the uh, allocation in the under 10s to, uh, into the over 10 meter pool. The ICS advice is for a 38% cut for this stock. Uh, next year, which we expect will kind of bring us back down to similar levels of allocation to what we had in 2021 and 2022. We've also got a little bit of a further breakdown for you here on this stock. So uh, on the left hand side is the uptake for 4B uh, and on the right hand side we have the uptake for 4C. So you can see from this that in 23, the uptake in 4B was just under 40 tons. I think it was about 38 tons. Uh, and the uptake in 4C in the same year was just over nine tons. This year, the uptake is, uh, I think, about 12 or 13 tons in 4B and just over or just about one and a half tons in 4C. So the majority of the uptake on this North Sea cod stock does come from uh, 4B. So that's all the stocks we've got for you today. Um, 
here's mine and Katie's contact information. So if there is any catch limits you're concerned about, anything you'd like to see a bit of an increase in, do get in touch with us. We are happy to be emailed, texted, called, WhatsApp, whatever. Uh, the email address there is a joint one, so that goes to both of us. Um, so is usually fairly well monitored. Uh, so you can send any queries to there. We do have a page here of useful links for you. Um, the catch limit review, we tend to publish one of these every month with catch limits we're looking at changing. Uh, so the one for September, as in suggested catch limits for September, is currently live. Uh, if you go onto the gov.uk website and search for catch limit review, uh, you should be able to find that. But we will also send out these slides. So, yeah, thank you very much, everyone. Hope you're all having a good summer and we'll see you at the RFG in a few weeks.